Tonight at 10, a new bill could allow high school students to serve you alcohol. Good evening, I'm Jade Henschel. Under the plan, kids as young as 14 could legally serve alcohol in restaurants. News 9's Sabrina Lee has reaction from both sides. Here at Osabuco, they say it's all hands on deck and allowing more people to serve drinks might help them out. Osabuco, while a small establishment, faces the same labor shortages other businesses do. But with one bartender and much of their wait staff still in high school, serving drinks during dinner rushes can get a little hectic. Because when I started here, it was me running the drinks and having to question all the waitresses, what's your age? Can you run this or not? So we didn't want anyone getting in trouble. And servers feel the same. She's got to make all the drinks, take them. Now we're supposed to know when she took them and while we're taking care of other tables, it gets to be like real messy. A new bill in Madison being proposed by Republican lawmakers could change that, allowing those 14 and older to legally serve alcohol to seated customers in restaurants, a change that could help places like Osabuco. I believe that when 14-year-olds are working here, it's helpful for the managers on duty or even the bartender to be able to know that they can serve drinks. As a worker standpoint, we able to, we're able to have them serving without having to question their age. Now the policy does not allow kids to make drinks, nor does it allow them to serve them to customers seated at the bars. But representatives with Mothers Against Drunk Driving believe there are better options. It's not logical to allow 14 year olds to sell alcohol um, in some shape or form. I mean, there's other ways to address the workforce issue. Another possible issue is how teens would check IDs and how they would be yeah, properly trained. Servers are able to bring drinks, they would be checking IDs, and now can a 14-year-old tell the difference between a fake ID or a real ID? Now the proposal is a long way away from becoming a law. First, it must be passed by both the Senate and the Assembly, and then it must be signed by Governor Evers. In Weston, I'm Sabrina Lee, News 9, WAOW.